still to come on our program today. On the sideline of the World Economic Forum earlier, I talked to the CEO of Trip.com about the impact of the current health crisis on the travel industry. Now, Trip.com is one of the biggest platforms for traveling online. Welcome back. You're watching World Insight. I'm Tian Wei. The coronavirus outbreak has cast a shadow on our daily life. Education, public transportation, our jobs and industries, and certainly the Chinese economy. The tourism industry is feeling the heat from the outbreak already. Business has been badly hurt. Many people's trips in China and abroad have been canceled due to the epidemic. How can tourism cope with the outbreak on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos earlier, I sat down with Jane Sunje, the CEO of Trip.com. Let's listen to how she and her company are dealing with the latest crisis. The crisis, health crisis going on in China. The virus is spreading not only in Wuhan, but also all over the country, and we see also across borders. What does that mean for travel platforms like ctrip.com? Yeah, it's an outbreak uh, from Wuhan. I think all the organizations are putting tremendous efforts to control uh, the disease. Uh, what CTRIP does is we took the leadership to calm down our travelers by telling them if any one of them is diagnosed uh, for having the flu, uh, we will cover 100% their fees for cancel, change, or delay their trips. Uh, so customers can have peace in mind during this crisis mode. I see. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, it is also everybody's job mm -hmm. to caution to travel as little as, as possible, possible. Correct. and to be in as little chances in public places as possible. Correct. But that's going directly against mm -hmm. your business. Mm -hmm. Your business is to encourage everybody to mm -hmm. be everywhere. Mm -hmm. How does that work for you? Yeah, I think in the big uh, scheme, uh, safety is always number one. So from the news uh, break to now, our call center employees, 10,000 employees, have been working 24 hours nonstop, and we stand by with our customers. What kind of scales are we talking about? I mean, I can't recall what was it like for 2003 because at that time platforms like yours are not yet the most prominent in terms of arranging people's trips mm -hmm. but technology has improved right. and things like ctrip.com has become the primary place yep. that people are booking and yep. thinking about traveling yep. so what does that mean to you the very first health crisis yeah i think we have a global sos program um, when Japan had a tsunami, Las Vegas had a shooting, uh, Nepal had an earthquake, within minutes our team can reach out uh, to our customers, calm them down, and work with the local operators to make sure our hotel partners open their hotel rooms to offer hot meal, hot power. Our local transportation team can offer free rides mm -hmm. for them to come to a safety zone. And then uh, also the airline will prioritize these customers if they choose to come back home uh, in the first place. Uh, so the global SOS program last year worked very well, and this year we have already initiated that program just to make sure we take care of our customers 24 yeah. hours around the globe with no uh, stop. What about our contingency plans? I mean, at this moment, we see a lot of things going on all at the same time. Whether the virus has spread fast, and what does it mean? Mm -hmm. And how is it being transmitted? What are the causes? Mm -hmm. And whether there is super spreader, it seems there's already. Mm -hmm. So this would mean devastating mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. for contingency. Yeah. So do you have already some very specific mm -hmm. contingency plan just to 
besides coping with the reality right now? Yeah, I think no one country, no one organization can handle this by themselves. It's very important the whole country work as one united team to handle this. The whole world is very alerted. Everyone, the first question is how are you handling course. this? Uh, so not only China, but the whole world is putting eyes on Wuhan. Uh, so that's good. Everyone wants to help. Everyone is standing by uh, to monitor the situation. Uh, I think uh, our government has always, already uh, take very good steps, make it as transparent as possible. Uh, and all the hospitals, doctors are putting 100% effort to it. And CTRIP as one of the players uh, put 100% effort in this ecosystem. Mm. But if things happen, for example, with airlines, if things happen with hotels, if things happen with homestays, all of these services are on your platform. Yes. Yeah. What about the protection of people? How are you working with all of these players mm -hmm. who are your customers in a way? about all of these issues? Yeah, we already sent alert to our partners. Everyone is aware uh, there might be uh, issues along yeah. the way. Uh, so I talked to the Marriott CEO. I talked to Anna CEO, Lufthansa CEO. I think everyone has a contingency plan already. And all the countries also have CDC in place. Yes. Uh, so we are very hopeful that uh, the government, the health organization can control it uh, eventually, uh, but all the participants in the travel ecosystem are being alerted already. All right, Jane, another issue, of course, uh, this is a very complicated situation. The global economy already facing uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Travel business, which you are in, mm -hmm. of course, there's a big, uh, shall I say, echoing effect as a result. Chinese economy slows down. One could argue the quality could go better, but still slows down GDP-wise. So what does the latest crisis mean to your industry at this critical moment? Yeah, I think um, I'm long-term optimistic. I know uh, that, yeah. but yeah, what about short-term? Short-term, there is going to be impact, just like uh, SARS. There is one month, people working at home, but look at after SARS. Pent-up demand went up, right? So I think what doesn't kill us make us stronger. Uh, that I, I love out that quote. Like, I think after everything comes down, uh, pent-up demand will pick up. Mm. Uh, our country will be stronger. Our uh, healthcare system will be stronger. Yeah. And people will be stronger. So as well. it seems to me, Jane, you are suggesting let's just deal with this day yeah. by day. Exactly. And then we will see where we can go, what is the best plan to proceed. Is Absolutely. that what you're trying to proceed? Absolutely. Okay, another issue. Jane, I know ctrip.com has become such a big international name. Mm -hmm. However, what about international competition? Mm -hmm. We have seen China and the United States sign phase one trade deal. Congratulations to the Thank both you. countries and also to industries. Yeah. But at the same time, this also means possibilities for competition mm. between you and your overseas counterpart, mm. probably even more. Mm. What do you have to say about that and how are you prepared so far? Mm. We uh, have our strengths. I think service quality is CTRIP's uh, strength. One stop shopping platform is CTRIP's service. So look at our growth rate. Our growth rate doubles any other uh, players in the world. Um, so. Um, but we have a very open mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, for Trip.com, we have an open platform. Any players in the industry, if you want to have access to the 400 million users on Trip.com's platform, you can list to your product on our platform. Mm -hmm. And reverse is the same. We offer all the hotels, uh, air tickets, transportation product to our business partners. Uh, so it's, uh, we always, always want to maximize our shared interest. Mm. Nobody can do it alone. The mm. world is too big. So collaboration normally yeah. is the best way uh, to help our customers. So you're trying to say you want to be even a bigger platform for everybody, right? Correct. So that, that is the best way out for you. Yes. Uh, not only about competition, but much more about cooperation. cooperation. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. How is your company as a platform trying to be in the ecosystem nurturing the awareness mm. and to deal with the issue. Yeah, uh, travel uh, 
uh, ecosystem is very important because for many generations comes, we want them to still have a beautiful earth to visit. Uh, so what we take, there are a couple of things. We set industry standard. Uh, for example, if hotels adapt not to use plastic, uh, but use eco-friendly green products, we support that. And for airlines, we just had a good meeting with different airlines. Uh, Kita Sun from Anna uh, proposed that we should pre-order food on board uh, so we don't have wasteful food. So I think the industry is very much uh, eager uh, to have a standard for eco-friendly um, travel tourism uh, industry. By the way, over the past few years, we have seen some specific accidents, mm -hmm. unfortunately, mm -hmm. airlines for example. Mm -hmm. uh, how is your company thinking about the uncertainties mm -hmm. and looking at the options? Yeah. Uh, I think safety, again, is number one for the industry. Uh, there is unexpected accident uh, happening, but if you do statistics, I think the accuracy uh, and safety rate for airlines is much higher than driving in the road, right? The reason it gets such a high explosion is because it doesn't happen very often. Uh, however, I think the regulators, industries, always, always want to uh, regulate the industry to such a high level that we treasure every life uh, when they travel around the world. Mm. And my final question about technology. Technology is improving so fast, but the only thing is whether we can catch up with it and also be able to regulate it in a way that would benefit all. Which direction are you looking at now? Mm. And what do you think is the most important areas we all need to pay attention in terms of travel, in terms of uh, uh, hospitality? Industry. Yeah, I think on time, uh, location based and personalized are the trend. Uh, because when you are traveling, you want to click one button and know what's going on around the world. Mm. So I think how we can integrate everything based on the personal preference, their location, and also uh, time length, yeah. right? uh, that's going to be very important for us. That's my exclusive with Jane Sunjie, the CEO of Trip.com. That's all the time we have for today. If you'd like to see more, try to find us World Inside CGTN into the search engine. Check out our YouTube channel, Twitter, and Facebook account. I'm Ken Wei. On behalf of everyone on the team, thanks for watching. Tune in again tomorrow. See you next time.